Dick Bruna's Christmas Story. It happened one night, long, long ago. There were shepherds in the field, keeping watch over their sheep. They were talking to each other, when suddenly they saw a light. The light was so bright and beautiful that day seemed to be dawning. But that was not so. The light came from an angel, an angel with a message from God. Do not be afraid, said the angel, for the shepherds really were a little frightened. I come to tell you something wonderful. Just listen. In Bethlehem, a child is born whose name is Jesus and who will bring joy to all the people. Now go and see him wrapped in linen cloths and lying in a manger. When the angel had spoken, there came another angel, and after that another and another, until the sky was filled with angels, and all the angels sang a song together. So sweet was the sound of their song that sheep and shepherds stood still in the field to listen. Glory be to God, they sang. Glory be to God on high and peace on earth. When the song had ended, the angels disappeared. Oh, how beautiful that was, said the shepherds, turning to each other. Let us go at once to Bethlehem. Then we can see what the angel told us. And they set out. After they had been walking quite a while, they came to a stable. It was a white stable with green wooden doors and a window that could not be closed because there was no shutter. It was a stable where the animals could sleep when it was cold outside. Can it be here? the shepherds asked each other. Could Jesus be born in a stable? The angel had said that they would find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And a manger is a trough from which the cattle feed. Come on, let's go inside, the shepherd said. And they found a baby who was wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger just as the angel said. Mary and Joseph stood beside the manger. The shepherds moved quietly towards them. Oh, how happy they were to have discovered Jesus. And they told Mary and Joseph about the message the angel had brought to them. Do you know who else was going to the stable in Bethlehem? Three wise kings, one with a white beard, one with a black, and one without a beard, but with a black and kindly face. They wore fine robes of yellow, red, and green, and gold crowns upon their heads, and they rode on camels. When they arrived at last, they climbed down from their camels, and all three brought out a precious gift. 
the king with the white beard brought out a splendid cup of frankincense. The king with the black beard, a little box of gold. And the king with the black face, a cup of myrrh. When the kings came to the stable, Mary took the child out of the manger so they could see him well. They gave their frankincense and myrrh and gold to him. It was for him that they had brought them there. How glad the kings were to have found the child, he who had come to bring happiness to everyone. When Mary asked them how they knew Jesus was born here in this stable, the black-bearded king told her this story. Listen now. One evening, the three kings who lived in distant lands had seen a star so beautiful that they had met together for they said a very special child must have been born when such a glorious star appeared in heaven let us go now and find him and take him noble gifts and they had climbed upon their camels and the star had pointed out the way. When he had told his tale, the king with the white beard said, Now let us go. We have to make a long, long journey home. Quietly they went away. Mary stood with Joseph, waving until they were out of sight. The shepherds too went home, and they told everyone they met about the birth of Jesus. And all the ones they told, told other people, till everyone had heard the news. And everyone was glad. They all agreed that every year the day of Jesus' birth should be a holiday. And that is Christmas Day. <laughs>